<laughs> Seriously. Itchy. Not cool. Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What are you doing back there, Alma? She brought the food. Setting up the food warmer? The what? I brought it in three days ago. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put food inside of it and press, press a button and watch as it warms up the food, just like a microwave. <laughs> It's an infomercial, infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh, no. So you've brought infomercial stuff too? Haven't you? At least, it's, it's at the very least a good idea for gifts. I don't think I've ever, well, I've only been making my money myself for like two years now, so I haven't really had much of a uh, opportunity to buy infomercial stuff, but I don't think I ever have. Well. Dynamic entry! <laughs> oh man. I want, a, I want an animation of her busting the ceiling. Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird? I've already heard that- oh. <sighs> Why? I need a drink. Uh, me too, Jill. Me too. Oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous? You wish. You don't need to fight for me. We're not... I'll go check on the microwave wires. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. I'm back. <laughs> they have matching eye patches. Patching eye patches? Patching eye matches. <laughs> okay, I'm stupid. Oh. Ah, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. <laughs> hey, AJ. See, that's how you greet people. Ah! Ah! Seriously, arm, stop it. And my jacket makes it really inconvenient to scratch through the sleeve. You shut it. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, Dorothy's afraid. I'll go help s sweater pups. Oh god. Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Oh. Alright, we're all here, so we can start. Yo, Anchorage? Who's Anchorage? Oh, Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can you speed it up? I've used those microwave mi wire things before. It's either warm nicely, but slowly, or burn. So how long? 15 minutes or so? A bell will ring when the time comes? We need to kill some time, then. Charades. Scattered arrays. You know, I played that for the first time last weekend. For someone as word savvy as me. Okay, it seems hilarious that I am describing myself as word savvy on this particular set of videos where I've done nothing but stumble through dialogue readings for this and the previous Let's Play. But I am word savvy, I promise. I'm impressively bad at scattered ores, though. Did not come up with anything. Alright, let's play Truth or Dare. What? I'll pass. Games are for kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. Oh, as long as that mud stays away from me. <laughs> That'll make the time pass faster. I'll pa You'll play? <laughs> Oh. Oh man. All right, this should be interesting. All right, then rules are simple. If you get picked, you either pick truth or dare. 
After you finish, you pick somebody else. You go like that until the food's done. What about punishment games? What? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said, Jill. Yes. <laughs> that seems really excited for some reason. You start. Pick someone. Oh, um. Let's see. Okay. Let's ask him what his real name is. Okay then, dog. Yes. I dare you to go out and stay there. That's easy. That's one problem less. Well then why don't you continue in the dog's place, Dorothy? Alright. I dare you, Dana, to pick up. Oh. Pick up Jill, that's who she means, and carry her like a bride. Alright. Wait, what? Come on, Jill, get up. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, shut up. Okay then, Jill. Yes. Truth or dare? Um. I, I don't even get to pick? Okay. That's cool. Um, dare? I want you to say yes. How can a clam cram in a clean. Oh, oh man. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Eh? It's a tongue twister, say it. This is gonna be fun. Uh, it seems like she did. Faster. <laughs> you make it seem so easy. <laughs> oh, well. oh man. I, wait, let me get confused by tongue twisters. That's a good point. Um, boss. Yes. You can drop me now. <laughs> She's still been holding her. Oh, that's hilarious. Alright. I wonder how long until the food's done. Uh... Gil? Okay then, Gil, pick your poison. Truth. How did you get into the city? How did you end up here, of all places? To be honest, I just wandered aimlessly for some time. Stuff happened and I went from place to place. Eventually I came across the city- er, city and stumbled upon the bar almost like it was destiny huh <laughs> well then hey Alma truth or dare dare try reading that sign without your glasses all right for relaxing times make it sun the rest is torn off so you can see without them I'm not blind, just mildly uncomfortable without my glasses. Boss, what do you pick? Why'd she call him boss? Or her boss? Try to undo that bed of hair of yours. Ouch. Bed hair? Yeah, you know, that one bit of hair. Oh! Oh, like the Edward Elric's uh, antenna. I have no idea what you're saying. Here, let me try. It's very tough. Maybe if I spit, maybe if I split it, it will rejoin it on its own. Silly Armitage. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Aho is like my willpower. You can, you can't placate it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> what does it mean? Well, it's, boss, please continue. I wanted to know. Well then, Jill. Truth. What would you do if Four was a girl and pregnant? I wouldn't do anything. I mean, you educate them and give them tools, but it's up to them in the end. What? I was just make sure she was able to cope with it. I'd only call myself a failure if it was the result of personal irresponsibility. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but if it's her choice, it's uh, this is weird since four is just your cat. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, honey, be my mom. Jill, it's a hypothetical scenario and it's a cat. Your point being? I'm getting hungry. Alright, well. I feel like everyone has been periodically asking Dana, so. Although. Ah. Uh, She's the most interesting, though. I'll pick there. Can you lift me with just your non-mechanical arm? Alright, you can, you can. Please put me down. <laughs> well then. Hey, Gil, truth or dare? Did I really pick? Let's go with dare. Please cross your arms. Alright. Now turn a bit to the left. I mean my left. Oh. A bit more, and I'll stand still for a second. Boss, is that a picture? It is. Nope, not even the same race. Sorry for the trouble. You're comparing me to a picture? Yup. <laughs> Can I at least see it? No. Fine. Oh, Gil. A bell? Food's ready. Finally. Let's go. You guys go ahead, I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to look up like the different results of what can all happen there. Cause that was cool, I like that a lot. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Ah, Alma. I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. It seems like no one ever wants to smoke with her. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that... <laughs> Wait, man, that makes it confusing. I've been referring to her as Dana before, I believe. But that is... But we have a Dana already. This is supposed to be Diana. It's making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has helped to keep... <coughs> Excuse me. My mind off of things for a while. <laughs> is it weird to feel the absence of contact with someone... Or the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Maybe it's not necessarily the absence. Well, it's not. The absence of the possibility of ever having contact with them again might be what you're feeling. Ask Cat Yusha or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went off to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's no different than what. Well, it's, well. Eh, I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh, yeah, you should take that chance to spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back. What's this? This looks super cool. So is this the end of chapter two then? How many chapters are there? Oh. I guess the party is over. Ch 
Chapter 3, Dulce. Alrighty. Achievement unlocked, trying to mix drinks and change lives. Alrighty. Rent is due on the 30th. 30th? That's... That's four days. We only have 3,000 doll hairs. Oh no. You've been using that hoodie a lot lady, lately. Shut up. All right, let's check out the dangerous opinions thing. Model Warrior returns to TV. Anyone watching it? I don't even have TV. So useless, Julianne is old and busted. I heard you talking about... Oh, God. Is it going to be censored? I don't think so. Going to marry Julianne? You will never discover Rule 34 for the first time again. Why keep trying? It's a meme show, there's nothing outstanding. What about the sequels? Are those going to be broadcasted? The sequels are bad, thread is closed. Is your lip trembling? No. Grand Slam Fighters? Oh. Huh. Is anyone into wrestling here? I became a. Wait, did I? Uh... Yeah, we read that already. Amazing how I know all the words, and yet I understand nothing. Glitch City Olympics returns. I mean, these all seem new. Lana Smithy. Prime Minister Quincy in charge of the committee. Kanji. Sorry, I'm just gonna skim this one. Alright, I've been recording for like an hour and a half. You wouldn't believe what happens next. Cartoons are not for children. They're still largely colorful, but the theme- oh wait, stop. I rescued you, I will I'll touch your tail if I wanna. I wanna see what this one- I'm guessing tacky body suits weren't practical for sports. But the themes they touch have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on air today has dark themes. But the innocent animated characters are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now? But Enter Touch Fluffy Tail, a show that aims to challenge that current trend. No deep lure, no obscure adult references, no stupid deep sub deep plots. Just fun with numbers and fluffy tails said a TFT producer who has to remain anonymous to avoid internet backlash. I don't want to make death threats for making a cartoon that's for actual kids. I suppose that's fair. The Motor City District has been notorious for the defamation campaign against the district, though. Race hosted at the Gate Highway, otherwise known as the Death Lane. Transit Police is investigating. The death of these two youngsters will be the last, however. That is a promise. Interesting. Oh god, alright. I have to save it now. Been recording for an hour and a half. I. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna come up with $10,000, I feel like. What was the thing she wanted? Alex figurine? Oh, his beard grows in real time. I don't know if we can... I'm, I'm gonna chance not buying that this time. But anyway, whatever. Whatever the whole distraction thing is. Does that just mean what's her face will pop up on the TV more? Oh. 
as we've never actually been to work while distracted. Hmm. Anyway. This is where I'm gonna call it good. Thank you for watching. That was really cool. I liked the uh, Christmas party. Not so, not as much as the previous sessions. Uh, not as much as Jill being the person, the clientele that is. But it was still really cool, and seeing everyone interact with each other was neat. I like it quite a bit. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.